Other than the yelling. Winston, let's go, go, <laughs> go. go. <laughs> it's about the quietest green flag you could imagine. Quiet or not, the energy was high Tuesday morning in Texas. It's going to be awesome to get to this on the road, get the caravan moving and go to California. That's spectacular. Well, yeah, 20 teams worth of teens were full of energy, but more specifically, those quiet cars were juiced up, riding a river of rays down the road. We're trying to go cross country and get as many miles as possible on our cars to see the endurance of our cars and see, you know, it's just the power of solar. It's the 25th year of the Solar Car Challenge, a STEM program meant to give kids skills in engineering, electrical work, and yes, solar energy. What we found starting 25 years ago was a way to be able to involve students in hands-on learning. It's still involving kids from the Winston School in Dallas where Dr. Lehman Marks started the Solar Car Challenge. That was one of the points why I went to Winston is because it's the Solar Car team. That's what kind of started everything. It involved a small town team from Houston, Mississippi that just so happens to have won the thing 15 times. It's much different than anything in our town. I got on the team when I was a freshman. I had no idea what a solar car was. Our town is really proud of us. They brag on us all the time, so we're like heroes back home. <laughs> it involved a whole lot of young people who are seeing parts of our country they otherwise may never have seen. I've never been to the uh, West Coast before, really, so the chance to drive through Texas, Arizona, California, and actually, you know, see if my car can take it, I'm, I'm all into that. It also involved a team still healing from the nearby school shooting at Florida's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Those are close friends. It's our community. You know, you always hear about these things happening elsewhere, and you're like, you know, it happened, but when it hits close to home, it really hits deep. And... It involved a school just taking the opportunity to drive on home. It's kind of not stressful, but you know, we want to win for it because we're going back home and we're going to see our families at the finish line. Yep, in just seven days, these 20 high school squads will finish in Palmdale, California, 1,300 miles from their starting point. They all want to win, sure, but there's a little more to it than that. It was made by us. It was made from... Just a couple kids from Arkansas, so we're excited about that.